What is up, everybody? It's the Shadow Kawaii. We are back again with some more Resident Evil. But before we talk about Resident Evil, I want to talk about a game that is coming out to pre-alpha here soon that I want to play and I want to play for you guys. But there's going to be some like non-disclosure agreement with it. No playing it on stream until they want. So I won't be able to show you guys anything of it, which is so sad. But I will be able to like play and stockpile clips. Oh. Hold on. Okay. But it's called Dead Matter and it's going to be some top notch crazy stuff. But what they've already released about it <clears throat> I'd love to just read it off to you guys and show it off. Something I'd really love to play and it just it's gonna be amazing. It's a survival sandbox game. Thank you, Robbie, for that like and that share. Coming through with the love, as always. Anyways, this game, it's got some high hopes. And I'm one of the people on the hype train, and I'm hoping it's looking good. It's looking fantastic. So I'm hoping it's going to be as good as they describe it. But what I'm going to show you is their description for it on the website for Dead Matter. And then I'm going to show you the description and screenshots and stuff they have on Indiegogo. So, Dead Matter, a roguelite that aims to quench the community's thirst for a title that properly balances survival mechanics with gameplay. What is Dead Matter? Dead Matter by indie company Quantum Integrity Software Inc. is a zombie survival roguelite set in a near future post-apocalyptic Alberta, Canada bringing together various hand-picked elements of the open-world survival genre along with our own original touches, Dead Matter aims to quench the community's thirst for a title, a title to properly balance survival mechanics with fulfilling gameplay. It never pops up when you do it, Evan, but thank you so much for the like and the share. <coughs> Key features. Zero pay to win fin Zero pay to win features detailed open world interpretation of Alberta, Canada. A map full of vehicles to explore with, a sprawling collection of randomly generated locations, planned full modding support including Steam Workshop, and that's that's big, that's crazy. That's gonna make this game like even more wild. Survive the apocalypse by hunting, farming, or camping. A talented and passionate team of developers and community staff a great community on both our forums and official Discord server. True Sandbox Survival. Almost any building in Dead Matter can be used as a safe house so long as you maintain control of it. Place sheets or boards over the windows to block infected and player visibility. Compete or cooperate with other survivors to recover rare gear that to work towards uncovering the mystery surrounding the region. Survival by any means necessary. Locate, hunt, kill, and skin the wildlife of Alberta for their fur and meat. Make sure no part of an animal goes to waste. Utilize our in-depth farming system that takes advantage of the variety of tools at your disposal. Survive in a slowly decaying world. Over time, fences will start start to have more openings and buildings will grow dark and cold when the municipal power grid fails. Our mission... We are a hard-working team of multi-talented developers 
that all originate from the Source Engine and Fallout modding communities. Our core team currently consists of full, three full-time staff and a handful of contractors. We will expand our team upon releasing Dead Matter on Steam Early Access and continue to bring you the zombie survival experience you've been waiting for. So, like, it's crazy. <clears throat> Let's see, the latest vlog. Nine. These are screenshots and whatnot. Like, look at these models. How oh, can I not? They're crazy. Like, the customization to everything. All this stuff. Just look at that. Full customization of weapons. Like, they talked, I'm pretty sure, Tarkov style. Like, really in-depth. Yeah, there you go. Bottom one right here with the shotgun. Like, in-depth. Maybe more than Tarkov. But I don't know if that's even possible. <laughs> but that... Oh, a gorgeous game. Let's see this vlog. I don't think that's the most recent vlog. Hmm. There's the trailer for it. This is This is still pre-alpha. This ain't the most recent like dev vlog or anything, but this is just the trailer. And this was before what they've got into it now. Animations have gotten better. Other stuff has gotten better, you know. This ain't even like the trailer I've seen. This is not the trailer I've seen. It's a huge map. There's going to be seasons. Like, it's going to change over time. The world's going to decay. It's going to start out in power. With power. I think there's a solo and a multiplayer. It's just, it's going to be crazy, man. Like, it's going to be amazing. What is this? This is This is like all the different dev logs, all the different things you could do to it. That's the most recent dev log. But here we go. This is their indie. Go go for it. Where you can back the company and pay for it early. Sorry, my tattoo itches. It does that from time to time. Overview. Overview. 
Dead Matter is a true sandbox survival horror. Players will fight to survive a zombie pack post-apocalyptic world that fosters which play style fits you best. Settle down and defend your home from outside threats with an expansive crafting and barricading system, cultivate and live off the land, or branch out, explore and scavenge whatever vehicles, weapons, and food you may find in the zombie plagued Alberta, alone or with your friends. So yeah, there you go. <clears throat> what would I do in a zombie apocalypse? It's a question you've probably probably asked yourself, and it's a question we want to help you answer. Dead Matter is a community-driven, crowd-funded survival game that aims to quench the thirst of a true su zombie survival sandbox. Initially funded in August of 2017, we aim to bring the game to Steam Early Access shortly after our closed testing period. Dead Matter caters to a multitude of survival playstyles and can be mixed and matched according, affording players an infinite amount of ways to survive in the zombie apocalyptic Alberta. We've been hard at work over the past nine months to bring Dead Matter to life. After many hardships and foundation hardships, the foundation has been laid and we're now working on fleshing out key content. We always listen to feedback that our fans give us and truly appreciate all our support, all the support we've been shown us to us so far. Well, I can play both. I can do both. I mean, I'm playing it them all till RE8 comes out. All the chronological ones. So I can take my time with it for a little bit. I don't have to rush through it. I am playing more Resident Evil tonight. I just wanted to talk about this first. It's something I'm going to get and try the alpha for. Customize your look the way you like it. In Dead Matter, the, on the only limit on your player is you. Freedom to of expression is an important design philosophy for us, and as such, we planned out our customization systems from the beginning to give you as much power over the protagonist as you want. From hair to head to body, you'll be in control. The world of Dead Matter is filled with every manner of weapon you could think of, and we've built them from the ground up to support all kinds of customization, allowing you to tune the weapon up to your playstyle. Whether you want to wrap your baseball bat in barbed wire and go out bashing, rig an alarm clock with C4 to go off with a bang, or strap, your, strap up your gun with a makeshift kitchen knife bayonet, the choice is yours. See, it's crazy. All these weapon models. You can also use scraps such as law mowers, fire extinguishers, pressure washers, and more to put together weapons, ensuring your survival no matter the situation. Yusman, thank you for the like, man. Thank you for the like. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Those are some crazy. Is that like a flamethrower with a pressure washer? That's crazy. All of those rails will be used to hold a wide variety of attachments designed to aid your survival. It doesn't stop the w with the weapons. Our vehicles were broken down and designed in parts to allow you to transform any run-of-the-mill suburban family van into an apocalyptic, apocalypse-kitted survivalist dream. All it takes is the right ambition and desire to leave your mark on the world, and the right materials, of course. I think we've seen this one already. Yeah. We've seen this one. You can also turn your vehicle into a mobile fortress or have a truck configured to tow a few thousand liters of fuel, water, or even tow a wrecked vehicle. It's, a pop it's up to you. It's crazy. And it's, it's ridiculous. Multiplayer. Hell on Earth, better with friends. Dead Matter has conceived and was conceived and developed from the beginning by friends and single player and enth enthusiasts alike. We plan to support and encourage both play styles as often as we can and wherever we can. Whether you want to join a huge dedicated server and explore a bustling community of players and build your list of friends and enemies, or invite some friends to try to take on the post-apocalyptic Alberta and, pri and privacy, it's up to you. 
you won't have to worry about any port forwarding. Just invite a friend on Steam and Dead Matter will take care of the rest. Ow. Oh god, I burped. Our, our world. 20 by 20 kilometer of beautiful Canadian landscape. We've created our depiction of Alberta to be the ultimate survival sandbox, lush in a variety with variety and life, from the wild forests and lakes of the Rockies to the once bustling city of Calgary. To efficiently simulate a breathing world, we've built our metagame and AI systems to support true variety. Expect the unexpected. Any forest trek, highway cruise, or grocery store trip could lead you on cross paths with a settlement of soldiers, a band of scavengers, or simple families searching for shelter. All of which will do whatever it takes to ensure their own survival. But the AI don't get to have all the fun. The world of Dead Matter was developed to support your settlements. Any buildings you see can be barricaded, upgraded, and fitted with electricity and flowing water. The land can be, frame, can be farmed and cultivated, and the lakes fished. You can live quietly in the shadows of day-to-day post-apocalyptic life, or settle your people around Alberta's transformers, dams, and bridges to retake control of the world around you. It's crazy. So you could like start a whole community and take back blocks at a time and power stations and all that shit. That's that's dope. That's crazy. Immersive inventory, minimal HUD elements, maximum attention to detail. Dead matter you util- utilizes a grid-based jigsaw style inventory system that challenges you to play in and conserve just as they were just as they are in the real world. Items are host to a variety of unique variables beyond size and quantity, like temperature, qual- temperature and quality. What you scavenge will often require unique planning and storage, so be conscious. Our items are de- designed to behave realistically. You'll have to unbox your ammo and pack your magazines, open cans of food with various tools and can be found in the world, or simply smash it on the ground if nothing else is available. We don't want scavenging to feel restrictive and dead matter. Any container you find can be physically opened and looted, from a nightstand to a vending machine to a locked up gun safe. You can search the home for a key to force key or force it open and play your luck. Just don't make too much noise. Your character physically reaches out to pick it- pick up items, flick light switches, push buttons, open doors, open containers, and much, much more. Nothing in dead matter happens instantly, and items don't teleport off the ground into your inventory. You are part of the world and must interact with it. Resources. Essentials <clears throat> to living. Like, this is... This game is so in-depth. Like, like I said, they've got such deep ideas, and I through their devlog they are working on capitalizing on it and it is crazy and I can't wait to see it I can't wait to see them capitalize this and it becomes something great and magnificent because that's it's just got so much potential electricity is a core part of modern life and the beginning of the zombie apocalypse will reflect that our robust electric electrical systems enable you to fully power your home opening up many gameplay options from the typical Min- I can't. I... nope. <laughs> of turning lights on and off to permitting and y- the usage of power tools to enhance your crafting and upgrades. Nothing this good lasts forever. However, and bad luck and poor planning could lead you could leave you with dead equipment when things go south. Skids! Thank you for that like, my bro. How's it going? Dude, you're excited for Dead Matter too? Oh, dude, so am I. They just, they keep pushing back the alpha. But I'm so excited. If you getting it, man, we got to link up on it. We got to play some of that together. It's going to be so amazing. We also have a robust, robust sewer system to alongside... To go alongside our water system, you'll occasionally be required to head into a dark, cramped, and terrifying environment in order to secure a steady supply of water for the survivors at your settlement, or for survivors willing to trade some supplies for a little bit of your time. 
Once you have a stable source of water, you can hunt, forage, and scavenge for food in order to feed yourself and those who, that rely on you. Keep in mind that every gunshot near a town will draw the undead closer to your location. Modding support. <coughs> Back to our roots. Player freedom is an incredibly important aspect of a fun survival game, and as such, we're putting everything in your hands, our procedurally our procedural development tools, which support full polished control of our environment artists. C++ and Blueprint access everything. We're modders at our core, and we know how important modding support is for a healthy, long-lasting community. Any user can host their own server and their own server settings and mods on or off the Steam Workshop. It's all accessible, and it's all free. Epic Games has offered to help us bring modding to Dead Matter via the Unreal Launcher, and we plan to take them up on that once we know the game is ready. We plan to support modding via w Steam Workshop to ensure ease, f ease of use for everyday players and for our server owners. Our community. Essential to our success. Dead Matter is a community-driven title. Our development staff is extremely active on the community discord and we often give our backers sneak peeks as well as take suggestions. One of the most complex systems in game was initially a fan suggestion that ended up becoming a vehicle towing system. Want to join our discord? Simply click here. We also take suggestions and engage with our community via our form, which you can check out here, play deadmatter.com slash forums. We'll also be opening our influencer program in the near future, allowing content creators and other cool folks to help spread the word around about Dead Matter. Stretch, stretch goal progress. We love progress. Since our Kickstarter, we've been working hard on not only the base game, but the stretch goals of Dead Matter. Even though we're still, we're still in pre-alpha, we've already put a dent in our, into our stretch goals, and we plan on bringing them to our supporters as fast as humanly possible. Map expansion. Our depiction of Alberta is already huge, however, we still have some unused space to fill, including underground. Hitting the required amount for the stretch goal means that we will be at we will be able to add in new locations to the map, such as an abandoned underground mining complex. We also we will also include new weapons and new items to complicate to complement the locations that we add in. God damn, I can't read with the damn right now. The code for the map expansion has been written, and our world will now feature abandoned bunkers strewn across it. The stretch goal is complete. Planes and trains. While the base game will be bustling with cars, trucks, boats, and bicycles, giving you the tools to conquer the skies and the rails will require more. Hating our goal with this means that Dead Matter will receive helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, and trains for you to fortify, upgrade, and defend from those who want them for themselves. To store your new machines, we'll also be fleshing out the train s stations, heliports, and airports throughout the map. New, new unique weapons, vehicles, and clothing will be there for you to find and claim. It's been reached, so this is being worked on. Way back west, a new sandbox inspired by Vancouver Island and the original Dead Matter mods map. Smaller and denser, Vancouver Island is home to the new weapons, new enemies, new vehicles, new clothes, new places to explore, all of the coastal landscape that will change the terms of survival. You will, you'll also be able to travel between Alberta and Vancouver Island at your leisure, assuming you've got the supplies for it. And that's been reached, so that's going to be in there, so that's crazy. So there's going to be two maps that you can go through. Like, this, this stuff's been added. This is... This stuff's a little new on the page that I've since I've read it. This is crazy. Being able to switch between two bi two different islands, like if you have a boat or a plane, you could fly over there, or you could ride your boat over there. Just crazy. And <coughs> interactive AI settlements and factions. Work with or against your fellow man. Trade with. Run errands for and earn favor with the inhabitants of the world to determine the outcome of new communities and families uh, and strangers. Or expand your own, invite your new friends and followers to join our ho your homes, organize scavenging runs, delegate jobs and roles, and to work to keep each other alive. 
That'd be cool. And that's been reached, so yeah, that's come into it. Radio and radio stations, that's going to be added. That's crazy. The final word of stations of the past, classical tunes, emergency broadcasts, and hijacked airwaves will be yours to hear. Control and follow. Play the new vehicle. Play with new vehicles like OB vans. Contact your friends with new tools like pocket and ham radios and explore and conquer the old radio stations at your leisure. Okay. It's still being worked on. Like all these ones. Okay, this one's nearly complete. But all these have been worked on. Not started yet. It's on its way. Modular gear, new weapons, and enhanced Twitch support. Upon reaching this tier, we'll be able to fully flesh out our modular suit system, scavenge and scrap the remnants of the apocalypse, and fit your player with a set of gear that can be worn atop most of the clothing in the game. We'll also be adding 15 new melee weapons and 5 new firearms. We'll also be, inc also be including official Twitch support in addition to our already planned broadcast mode, which disguises your player name and the server you're connected to. This goal will allow us to expand our integration further. View your chat in-game, poll your viewers, invite them to participate, easily add connected viewers to your party. All of our weapons have been remade from scratch. <coughs> We've seen that. Player-made structures, that's been reached, it's been reached. Nearly complete. Construct, upgrade, and expand your, con expand your control of the world. We'll be overhauling our player settlement system to support greater constructive capabilities, allowing to, you to assemble seamless personalized shelters with from shacks to shanties to cabins to garages that serve whatever purpose you'll give them. Like all else in the game, our game options will allow server hosts or single player explorers to adjust and fine tune every aspect of these player structures, from changing the material requirements to outright disabling them. Enhanced character customization. This one hasn't been reached yet. Reaching the stretch goal will enable us to implement custom morph targets that will expand our character customization options in addition to modifying your player's eye color, hair color, and head type. Morph target will allow you to completely retool your player's face. It's crazy. Just All this is so much and most of the goals have been reached. This is the last one and it hasn't been reached yet. Hitting this stretch goal will allow will also allow server owners to enable dynamic progression of your character's appearance, hair growth, scarring, and aging, and more, all of which can be adjusted via server settings. We will also be adding makeup, razors, and similar, similar cosmetic items to let you change your look on the fly. Even though we haven't received the funds we needed for this goal, we've started work on it with some of the best industry best uh, with some of the best the industry has to offer we'll be posting some pictures of the progress here as soon as possible so yeah that's that's a lot guys that's that's a crazy amount of stuff it's crazy with the amount of stuff they're adding to this game. But now we are on our way to Resident Evil. Oh. We were doing so good on this one. No. Don't show again. I don't want to do that. Not at the very moment.
Nope, we can't go there. Well, where'd the Robbie go? This boy he asked for me to get on and stream, and he ain't even here. Oh, God. Thank you, Dakota, for that like. Oh, my God. Is there no way for me out of this this direction? Just no? Nope. Oh. Okay. There was a jump one. Yeah, take the crank. I don't know what the crank's gonna be used for, but I'll take it. Uh What? This is the first one. What in the fuck is that? She not dead? I don't understand. I don't know what that is or why it's in the safe room. I don't like that. It's the remaster of the first one. This was like remastered back on the GameCube and then re remastered or HD'd for the newer systems. Man, and I couldn't get the damn. Because <sighs> that sounds promising. What? What am I doing? Oh, God. So confusing. Okay. Motherfucker. Frickin' Zambies!
just, you know, bada booming up a hill. Back to the other side we go. This is Chris. This is Brad. Star's Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. This thing's broken. Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, shit. Ha. Oh. Holy shit! There's so many of them. Get off me! God damn! Motherfucker chewing on me. Which direction do I go? Oh shit! Oh, that's locked. I just put myself in a corner. That's not locked. I just can't go down it. Blew one of them motherfuckers' head off. Just bam. And now I think I'm out of ammo. Oh. Oh yeah. I got you. Cause this is promising. Ha. Oh, you bastard, I didn't even shoot you. Oh, they're all just going to attack me. Well, because I don't have any ammo, I'm taking this with me. Hopefully I'll find some ammo, and not just herbs. Ah, oh, cool! Snakes! Ah, oh, cool! More snakes! You know, it'd be great. <laughs> Aditya Dutt. Thank you for the like. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Where the fuck am I? Maybe I'll find ammo in here. Ah, oh, yeah, save room. I could go pick up the shotgun or something else at least. Look at all this stuff. Like, there's meds galore everywhere. You saw how many meds I had in my inventory. 
Um, I might have to kill some zombies and burn them. Not examine. I passed a lot of herbs. I only have limited space. I'm not gonna pick up every damn thing I see. I'm gonna remember where it's at and come back to it. I got so many shotgun rounds, but I don't want to take my shotgun. I just want to find more pistol rounds. But I'm going to end up having to fight something and I... <sighs> take the knife. We'll fight, it. we'll fight our way around with the knife. We got this. Just wah! Just wah! Oh yeah, I should probably put the... Put those up. And they were blue herbs, not purple herbs. Whoa, fuck! What the fuck was that? I didn't, I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. That scared the shit out of me, Robbie. You see me jump? I was, whew. This is such a huge place and I have no ammo. Now I have a map. Sweet. I shouldn't have looked at that! There's a lot of bees on the other side of that hole. And they're huge. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the, uh, the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at it, its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is the, through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since the basement has been like a pool, there is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighting, sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines and protruding are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it oh, excuse me, uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's act inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42. 
when we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a, tr a tendency of becoming more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if trying to protect as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves that way, it does it's still unknown. May twenty first, nineteen ninety eight. This looks like it could be pushed. But I can't push it that way. What? Oh shit. There's a hidden ladder. I didn't even search any other area of this. Nope. 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 I don't have a weapon to fight the damn thing. The fuck you mean? Nope. I'm not about to do that. I didn't even check the door right there. I didn't even see a door right there. I walked right past it. It blended in with the wall. Okay, well there there was nothing but a key in there, but I'm glad I went back and checked it. Now I can open certain doors. Let's see. Is there a door in here I can go through? No, it's just that. I need to go back where it was where that safe room was and get the shoddy. So we're about to fight something, and I want to be prepared for it. I wanna be prepared. Ah! God damn it! Fucking scared the hell out of me again. stop you from doing that again bitch that's how you do like a boss I forgot all about it be honest I shouldn't use it yet, but I need the space. I don't know when I'm going to need that key or the crank. I want to use the cranks. Keep the cranks still.
Oh, okay. Opened one door with it, and there's still a bunch of other locked doors. Nope. I went back out in the hallway. That's not the nope I wanted to do. That's not the nope I wanted to do. Nope. There we go. There we go. There we don't go. Nope. Don't want to do it. So you got nothing for me? wasn't a headshot. Okay. I could also play Outlast. Yeah, I'd love to play the Outlast trilogy. Game terrifies the hell out of me. I love it. Ah, oh, ammo. Awesome. What is that? Is that another is that another defense item? I wonder can I unhang him? Nope. I tried my dude. I tried. I mean I would have had to blow your brains out as soon as you hit the ground anyways, but I tried my man. Screw it, I'm gonna put this crank back in. I really need to take the shotgun with me because I know I'm about to fight a boss. Plants hate fire. I'm gonna keep it on me. Fuck it. So confused. Just keep running back and forth. <laughs> Trying to decide if I want to play smart, play dumb. I should play smart. Use up all my inventory. It's not smart, but. I played smart. Is he just going to splurt? That's so nasty. That's nasty, man.
I need to go open up inventory. I need inventory! Always need inventory! Are you done squirting? Cause that was just straight nasty. Ow. Cut my finger at work today. Cut my knuckle the other day. I want to see what art's in there. Come on, man. It's not fair if you don't share. So there were some kind of eyes, and I wish I could look back on my stream and see them. Gotta push the boxes. Push, push, push. Yeet. New. This is where the sharks are. Richard. Chris. Chris, stop. No. Richard. Richard. I thought them sharks would be a little harder, and they weren't. I was just like, blam, blam, ah! What the fuck? This 
This don't look promising. I kind of want to walk towards it, but I don't. They just don't look promising. I can walk through it. And there ain't nothing in there. Just moseyed on through it. Just not a care in the world. Hello! It's like Jaws! Not like I didn't, you know, look at it, go through it all already. What the fuck do I do? Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. How do I, how do I do it? I don't know how I do it. Oh God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I don't know what I gotta do. This shark. Did I do it? How do I operate it? Reaching ninety percent of pressure threshold. Oh no. Oh no. All personnel prepare for impact. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're not gonna die! Five percent to spare! <laughs> bye bye, Mr. Sharky! That was great. That was so great. I don't know if I can go through that door yet, but I don't want to test it. Not just at the moment. Lots of shotgun shells. Game's telling me to use my shotgun.
Everything's dripping wet and damaged. Is that a new shotgun? I'll tell me I'm going to find a save spot here soon. Because I'm going to have to put the other shotgun up. Oh, I saw something up that way. They just waited for me to get down. Get used to it. I bet I bet that's the achievement for dying for your first time. We made it pretty far before dying. I'm actually proud of us. should actually keep the handgun put up. Have I gotten through any of it in this save? No. Time to repeat progress! Mm. Ow. Got like one of them. Oh no, I'm poisoned. I don't know where the blue herbs are. Where was that blue herb, Robbie? If you're still here, you remember where it's at, right? You think they were close to the save point? I don't know if I'll be able to make it there in time. We'll try it. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Come on, Chris! You can make it! You can make it! We're gonna make it to that herb and get your health back. Oh, Sujit! Thank you for the like, man. I don't know if you're still there or woman. I don't know if you're still there. But thank you. Oh, there was a lot of them right there. How about it with that? Yee. There was three of them back there. Ah, oh, god damn it. Damn fly. Get out of here. Just playing the harp. Just harp harpedly. So how was your day at work, Robbie? Did you have a good day, man? If you work today. Today was your day off. Wait, isn't tomorrow your graduation? You have to work on your graduation? that key at? Oh shit, I screwed up. I think it was in the bathroom. What up, boy? How was work? The rest of the night? Thank you for the like. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Ah, uh, damn group chat. I need to put that shit on silent. Oh, damn, I keep hitting the wrong button for map. No, don't push that. Oh, this bastard! This sneaky little bastard. Ah, oh, and this sneaky little bastard of a fly. Blah. 
Oh, excuse me. You know what, this is the easiest way to load the sh guns. Let's go into your inventory. Some reason it just doesn't blow his head off, but whatever. Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. We had... He would have done the same if it weren't for... If it were for the other... If it were the other way around! After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him there in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need a little all I need is a little bit of courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand, and at least let me end my life as a person. Thank you, bub. I'll see you later when you get off work. Have fun closing. That's a message on the... Th there's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. I was trying to be all cool with the reading and just ended up fucking off. No, I don't want to go back in the bathroom. And I want this fly to die. Now we go back to the basement to fight them zombie sharks. But first, let me put up the hand gun bullets cuz I'm gonna get a lot of shotgun rounds oh, I need that Bastard threw his arm out of it like, Watch out, bitch! Thank you, ye, for that like. What's the good, my man? My ma'am? Day. I think it might be the start of the day for you. But I want to go through it! Now we gotta go back and push all these boxes again. Just push, 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 push. Yee, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Means a lot. Proud to bring you into the family. So I would just like doing the most boring thing right now, you know, push a boxes. We're gonna get to some interesting shit real quick. About to be fighting a shark, couple sharks, then a big shark, 
and yeah I know I have to deal with the flood again and push boxes Richard! No! You're gonna die! Richard! Richard! Chris! His Chris, Chris is just as bad. It's just as bad as Billy! Richard! Things huge. Yes, yes, discard it. I don't want to use it. Yeah, and get to this real quick. Reaching thirty percent of pressure threshold. Bye bye. Bye bye to all the water. Let's try this door this time. Let's see what's on the other side of this door. We know back through the other door we're gonna have to fight that shark. Oh, is that Magnum rounds? Yeah! Does that mean I'm gonna fight a boss here soon? Hey! 
Now we know a quick way out. That's what's up. Should have brought my Magnum this go around. I bet that would have been a hell of a damage thing to that guy. Oh, that shark. We're just going to sit and shoot it, see how many shots it takes. Big shark in trouble, not baby shark, man. Big shark. But baby shark, do 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 do. Now you're dead, do 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 do. A new key for the residents. It ain't dead yet. Forgot about the assault shotgun. I did very much forget the shotgun. Now we uh we go back upstairs, right? I think that's what we need to do now. We need to take this band-aid off too. If I don't have to fight that sh shark again. I'm gonna have to fight that shark again if I have to go back down there and mess with the control panel. But since it. Cool, you're not Crimson Head yet. I was scared he was gonna be a Crimson Head. Right now you're watching One Piece. And you're watching me. Yes, I want to discard a key I have no further use for. And I want to hit up the save room. Save. How rude, Robbie. How rude. Oh, this tentacle is going to jump out at me. I still jumped on it. I still jumped. It sounds loud in my ears. It's just like, Wabba! <laughs> Don't need you anymore. I forgot to save. 
I have yet to really watch One Piece. It's been on my list, but I just it's so long, it's gonna take forever. I did finish Avatar today. Well, refinished it from my childhood. What the fuck did I come in here for again? God damn it! Oh, okay, the ink ribbons. I'm gonna try playing, uh... I've been thinking about trying, like, whenever I play multiplayer games. Play some... For Honor, just so y'all can watch me get angry and ticked off. I think actually, before I continue on to that new door. I'm going to pause it, go to the bathroom, smoke a cigarette real quick. So, enjoy your one point. One piece. One piece for the moment, Robbie. I will be right back. You're funny, Robbie. We all know you'd get your ass beat. It happens every time.
Funniest thing to me is that Robbie thinks he can beat me on some good old COD. And I would love to prove it now, but we are playing Resident Evil, Robbie. That's right. Thank you for the follow, my dude. My ma'am. Welcome to the family. What up, Dylan? How you doing, Bob? I hear all them bees. Oh, they coming. Blow them bastards out of the sky. Ah, get off me! Right. Why is there so many bees? Is that a beehive? It's too dangerous to go any further. Autumn shares, Dylan. God damn. Oh, I bet I go back to that wall and spray. Hold up. I got you, bees. I got something for you. Robbie talk a lot of smack. Lots of smack there, my dude. Jeez, Robbie with a bunch of shares now, too. Are we starting that up again? Are you just sharing multiple times to your page? Or are you sharing to other groups? Share it to other groups, and that's the best way to grow our community. 
Get other people involved. Show them how great the stream is. We good. We love each other. We family up in here. Oh, new save room. Alright, cool. Get my pistol out. Right. Jesus Christ! Sharing to public, so you're just sharing to your page. Oh. Yeah, take the dagger. Look at that little cut. It's still bloody. It just keeps popping up. Just like crazy. Organic chemistry lab experiment. The similarities and the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant, tyrant virus have been reportedly in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the umbrella family, that are the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, the V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant. The entire plant should be dead within five seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling the UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemicals are the f as follows. UMB number 3, UMB number 6, UMB number 7. So it's dark brown. So we have to mix VP and UMB. So all three UMBs, red, green, orange, and then blue. Well, we're going to go... Grab that book real quick. We're gonna grab that book. We're gonna put our shotgun away and get our pistol out. I hope I don't get attacked again. And I got attacked again. Damn plant. I can't wait till I kill you. Always putting that work in. Always.
Nice. Noise. Wow, 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 wow. There was a naked lady on that. I hope I don't um, catch up banned for that. So, like... How am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to fight this thing? I don't understand what's about to go down. Oh, did I just get poisoned? No, he just dropped acid on me. Oh. I should have brought my shotgun. Can I go back and grab it? Wow. Wow. I'd like to redo this fight, mister. Oh my god. I'd like to redo this fight. Why'd I put the shotgun up? Giorgos, thank you for the follow, my man. Welcome to the fa family. I hope I don't die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die real bad. Oh shit, indeed. Oh shit, indeed. We're going to um, put one of these in here. Um, we're going to put another one of these in here. Um, we're going to put this in here. Um, we're also going to put this in here. We're going to use this. We're going to grab another one just for precautionary measures. And we're gonna go make this damn thing say goodnight. Oh, excuse me. I 
wonder if I have to fight it the way I am fighting it, or if I have to get something to fight it. Is that something about the chemical, but at the very moment, I don't think I can get a chemical. I didn't see any chemical bins anywhere. Not even down in the facility, I don't believe. Bruh, I just got in here. It sure as hell didn't like that. So I killed the thing. What's it got for me? I didn't even have to use these at all, or take them at all, so we're just going to waste one so I can take the mansion key. It's the helmet key! We gotta go back to the mansion! Woot woot! Got him! Rebecca! Okay. Yeah, it's dead. But Richard. He's gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. I'm glad I'm still okay too. I'm very glad I'm still okay. Wesker! Wesker! words exactly where's Jill thought you were with her yeah I know we got separated I see anyway we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food got any suggestions Wesker we should get a better grip on the situation there must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion Chris I want you to check them out one more time I'll continue my investigation here Sure thing. <clears throat> I can't wait for the new season of Lucifer either. Me or the wife. It's going to be great. Watch me get attacked again. Oh, wait. I killed it. I ain't getting attacked by shit. Ain't nothing raining on my parade. Now I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. I need you. Don't need you anymore. I need you. I also need the save thingy so I can save. to invite my dad my dad's never tuned in 
love for him to tune in. Let's go back to the mansion and use this helmet key to explore all the rooms we didn't even get to see. I forgot all about the mansion, actually. Psh. You're... Would not be kicking my butt, Robbie, and you know this. I don't know why you're talking shit. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. Looks like there's something beyond it. Ow! Slithery snakes. Slithery snakes everywhere. No, that's not where I'm supposed to go. The ambiance is so wonderful. Chris left me a bunch of ammo. And health. That I don't need. And a note. Use this to protect yourself from the monsters and chains that cannot can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. We've got so many new areas we can explore. I can't wait to see!
Oh, damn, the hunter. That was close. Um. Just gotta keep the shotgun out for the time being. And save. They're gonna be right out there waiting, just waiting. Who's the hunter now, bitch? I said he fixed the doorknob. Yeah. Still not that door. There's a door upstairs though. Time to check out all the doors and see what we can do. I get the puzzle. I don't get how I'm going to get to it that fast.
What the fuck? Is that as far over as I can get it? I wish there was a way to push it faster. Come on! God, I don't understand, like how? I'm fucking going as fast as the game will fucking let me, and yet... I can't... Like, I can only push so fast. Oh, okay, I gotta push it just in front of it. God damn. Sitting here trying to push it in there myself. Getting pissed. November 29, 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with for formaldehyde and those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. It was like reflex. One name came to mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was so ob I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel. And another dead end. But even in the darkness, everything, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had, the last match I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. Not letting no baby spiders turn into big spiders just to screw me over. Uh-uh, ain't happening.
Whew! Shit's getting intense. Whoa, I'm in the basement. And the elevator. Oh, not at the moment. I don't want to use it just yet. I want to check out these other doors that I can unlock with this new key. Before I go down into the umbrella. All the other locked doors are up on this floor, besides the first floor one. Let's go hit up the save room real quick. Drop off the handgun rounds. Go check out these other rooms. Can't wait to see what's on the other ends. Can't wait to get to the end. It's gonna be crazy. Oh damn, I just went through a door I can go through. Go back the other way. How's that one piece treating you, Robbie? Ah, oh, damn that. Yeah, that one's locked from the other side. Oh, but I could take the elevator up to it. That, I bet that's what that elevator is for. I said, how's that one piece treating you, Robbie? See, all the little doors I can open. Mail to the Chief of Security, confidential. Attention, Chief of Security, date July 22nd, 1998, 2-13. X-Day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures. Within one week, prompt actions are demanded. 1. Lure stars to the estate and obtain B.O.W.'s raw combat data against stars. 2. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen, specimens as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals, disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to the headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedures by deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Inc.
How do you get it to stop? Let me down. I don't understand like okay obviously this is going this got to do something I guess we come back to it another time Okay, I get it now. I'll come back to you in a moment, though. <sighs> See, I thought the switch... I had to do something with the switch since it was, like, so... There. It was like, hey, look at me. I'm a switch. Flip me. So I flipped it. Now I gotta go downstairs. And hit up that room with the tiger. Put some stuff up. I think Rebecca's in here. Aww. God damn it. We're doing so good. See, when you're by yourself in a Resident Evil game, it's a lot easier to avoid shit. Whenever you have a partner and they can get killed and then it ends it for you, a lot harder. That's what the red eye does. Yeah, it seems like it sent it upstairs to the... Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go get that yellow one. 
take it into the room to fight the snake. Because I'm going to have to fight a giant snake. Oh, I gotta re-push this. What fun. Oh my god. Now I'm going to check something real quick. I'm going to go back to that room and see if it came back down. And if it didn't come back down, well, then I know it's up in the... <sighs> up in the good old... Library. And I'm going to have to go fight that snickety snake. What?! What?! with some bull crap both those shots should hit him I blame it on the lag I need to go back to the safe room. I need to drop some stuff off. I don't know when I'm going to use this red gemstone, so I'm going to go drop it off real quick. I'm going to try to stop sweating. Damn things are always breaking through glass. I walked past the safe room. I forgot that's what I was going for. Excuse me. I need to go all the way upstairs because I'm pretty sure I can open that <clears throat> highest room with that beginning puzzle I had to deal with. Get the fake key. I bet up there, I know up there is the, another helmet key area.
Ooh. Popped my arm, that felt amazing. I wonder if I get to choose if I go up or down or if it is only up. Looks like it might be only up. Yeep. God damn, I'm gonna have to run right on back to the damn safe room, drop shit off again. Just got somewhere too. It's a lot of that in these older Resident Evils. A lot of that, guys. You'd think I'd know my map by now, with the amount I run through it, but I don't. I get lost a lot. Before we go fight this thing, we're gonna go see what the room upstairs does. I'm keeping the little emblem on me because I just, I got a feeling that I'm going to need that real soon. So I'm keeping it on me for that purpose. Oh, I bet it's the shield. No, I already did the shield and the armor. Now I got the helmet. Um, neck.
Screw you, snake! Didn't take any health damage. Not gonna do that. Well, we defeated the giant snake. Boom, boom, boom. That's all surged, that's all surged, that's all surged, that's basement. Only thing left is go to the other room and go first floor and check out that room. <laughs> yeah, cause I ain't got anything over there. Riding it back down to the basement just so I can walk back up. Do I have inventory space? I got one slot. One door left to open with this key. And then I gotta find the family key.
last room I can go into. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. No, can't, can't go through anything over there. Hi, Mama. Where's that dad? Welcome back, Coulter. What's up, Bubba? Eaglesons over there. Dude just left this place. Love you too, Bubba. It's more of a dead end than I was expecting. But let's go check out behind that mansion. Or not behind that mansion painting. Ah. Shit. Didn't mean to go through that door. Some dip, like chips and dip. Are you referring to look like for me to look around and try to find it? Yeah, I get it. He said something behind the picture, but it won't let me move the picture. No. Nope. Obviously, there's a room behind the do I gotta destroy the glass in that room, maybe? Tobacco dip. Ew. Disgusting.
That shit's nasty. Why do one of you can bust through here if... I'm lost! Love it when this happens. I want to use it. Let me use that there. Ah. Now I'm confused. Don't know where to go. Know what to do now. Alright, it's going to be a smoke break time. I will be right back. Smoke break, stretch break, bathroom break. I'll be right back.
Bowie is back. <clears throat> I'll just go back to safe room real quick. I'm going to see if that jewel will go in the jewelry box I got. The only thing I think to do. I went through the wrong door. Oh my god. I sometimes hate the cameras. It messes with the way you move. Hi, bear. Oh, both my kitties are in here. Yay! Ah! Yes! Okay, there's only one door this key goes to. way back to the other side. Shit, wrong way. Okay. 
I'm coming for you, door. You're the only door I can open. Stay down that time, bitch. I think we're about to make it down to the basement. Rebecca, is she upstairs? I think this might be where I found the dog whistle. judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. I didn't mean to get you worried.
so I think this little emblem I have is going to go on that gate down there. I guess I don't go there. I should probably hit up that safe room. this up for now. I'm going to take this because I th know where I could take it back to. And... Oh yeah, ink ribbon. I want to save. should take my pistol around now. But at the same time, I don't want to because... Hunters galore. Oh yeah, I should have used the damn safe room all the way back there because... I got to go all the way back out to that damn place I was at just before coming back to the mansion. Now I got to run all the way back to the other side of the mansion to go out that door. Well, I'm going to head up that safe room over there anyways, because, well, I'm not taking the damn ink ribbons with me everywhere. Mm. Damn thing hurts. Took a chunk out of my thumb. Sorry if this gets loud and turn my AC on for a moment again. Because it is hotter than a mofo right now. It's 
so sorry if you're hearing that in the background. I just, it's hot. Oh, I need to bring in a fan in here whenever I'm streaming. That way I can have something blown on me for cold air that isn't extremely hot. Ow, the snakes are back. The snakes are back. How many times did Yawn breed? <gasps> Heard something third. You don't know why you want dip. It's still it's still nasty, Robbie. That's nasty. Oh where are we going? Typewriter and item box. No, I don't want to go through the door. Somebody got crushed in the rock. Muhammad, thank you for the follow, my dude. Welcome to the family. 
Welcome to the stoner's court, man. Another crank. Not enough for you. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I wanna get through this. Feel like I'm so close to beating it now.
So many shotgun shells. Don't I already got a knife? Don't I already got a knife? I don't... Sounds like my wife's watching something crazy. Yay! First aid! It's not like I already have enough of them.
Well, how am I supposed to do this? Oof, I gotta pay again. Yes, I want to save. Yes, I want to save. That's why I came to the typewriter. Alright, bub. You have a good night. It was good having you during the stream, as always. Love you, bub. Have a good day at work tomorrow.
Okay. A lot of shit. Ow.
Ow. Fuck you, bitch. Are you still over here, Lisa? Yeah, you are. Oh, I've got a time limit to hit that. Okay. Let me take another break real quick. I gotta go pee so bad. Be right back.
You know what's great, guys? I think we're near the end of the game, to be 100% honest. Like, I'm pretty damn sure we are that close. That close to the end. Family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica administered virus type A plus mullying of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Acti action disposed. Lisa administrated. Administered virus type B plus mullying of the tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive and delayed fusion. Body modification observed constant results. Constant results. Status continue pro protective observation. George action terminated November 30th. There's a journal left by someone. I feel November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after the shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised me they, that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, 1967. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. I have to find m mom. I have to give my give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th, 1970. From inside box, scent of mommy, maybe true mother there. Stone box hard, it hurts. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. to save yes I want to save yes 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 save successful
I'm guessing back to the mansion we go. Things like after me. Ah, no. Maybe now I can put this here. It's the only other place I could think. grab the other one I used to go through that door back there if I can grab it I'm gonna see because it's like the same exact emblem so maybe we gonna find out yeah yeah we are wanna make it through this apocalypse even though the Resident Evil apocalypse never ends, it just gets different. think I could pick it up but I could pick it up and that's what's up so we're gonna go back around and I think we're gonna head down into the umbrella facility and then into the game here we come
Welcome everybody and the viewers. Come in, say hi, leave a message. Talk it up. Let's do it. I wanna know how your day be going. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. What kind of bullshit was that? Did I walk off the edge? Is that what just happened? Oh, I gotta run all the way back, don't I? Man, having to wear these masks at work got me getting pimples everywhere. I just found a new one growing on my damn lip. Right above it. Right underneath my nose. <sighs> and then one's on my chin, one's on my cheek. Nope. Fuck you, Crimson Head. Nope. Wow. He gonna go boom while I'm away. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, we're going to try this boss fight again. Going to get it this time. Then we'll kill the big main boss and beat the game in only two days and two parts compared to Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Zero took us forever. 
We didn't even get to the end because I screwed myself and I've got to go back through it on my spare time to have better health for you guys. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action.
I very much think we might end up in the game in this stream, guys.
Researcher's letter, June 8th, 1998, my dearest Ada. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything to have... I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the vis visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks in the using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in to the system using my name and your n name and password. Maria! Hello! Welcome to the stream. How's your night going? No, I don't. Is that all I do? No, I didn't want to switch him. No. Oh, excuse me. Yes, exchange. Stop. Still there, Maria? Why'd you leave? No wanna talk. It's okay, I, don't, I wouldn't wanna talk to me either. <laughs> Fact researchers note, there is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them Vax. VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly no noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric incident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Terminate it, definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and continue and confine the body inside the basement in the backyard cemetery. Cemetery. Cemetery.
So excited to almost beat this. So excited. So close. I could taste it. I could smell it. I could do all them things. Facts to Sanitation Division, Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon C Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The containers of this fax are con confidential and intended for the named addresses only. Any copying or disclosure of these contents of the fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by sender. After reading the contents of the fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We accept significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially an estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our, sec our secret security patrol team has <clears throat> also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is da in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions and demand are demanded and prevent to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are, specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore and success our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect that for, we suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Just in case I gotta come in here again, I'm not dealing with it. There was more magnum rounds somewhere. Where were those magnum rounds? Oh yeah, they were in the room I had just come out of.
So sweaty. Ooh. Don't like it. quick a couple things real quick Is that Wesker?
Good night, Bob. I didn't even know you were still on here, bro. Why didn't you tell me it or say anything? <clears throat> Moss, I don't know what you said, bro, but welcome to the stream, man. I didn't even grab that shotgun round that I went in there for initially. Need all the shotgun rounds I can get. It's my favorite weapon. Just kaplow and you dead. There ain't no walking away from a shotgun shot. What the fuck?
God, won't let me come down or nothing. Another safe spot. About to say, at least I assume it's another safe spot. Uh, yeah, I wish to save my shit. I save my shit every time. I think I know what room it is, it is I'm supposed to go through. I'll go to, I remember seeing something with a little capsule type thing in it.
running. No running for me. Apparently it'll cause me to go boom. Back because you smoke in a cig. Welcome back. You should stick around, man. I'm pretty sure I'm at the end of it. Or damn near. Heating pads, bro. Heating pads are the best. putting it like down on her lower back instead of I can't put it on her stomach because that'll mess with the baby the radiation from the heat heating pad but uh, putting it on her back didn't help
Ding. I'm pretty sure Shania wouldn't have a problem letting her use hers as long as she got hers back. You'd have to ask her about it, man. But, yeah, ask Rosa about it. See how it's working for her. Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. That you can do, yeah. Could always buy one. I got a partner now. I got a partner. Rebecca is working with Chris. I thought she was working with Billy. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my Billy! little piggies. 
The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No. Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have Rebecca! To you. Wesker's always been a dirty whore, man. Nemesis type one. Mr. X type one. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Ha ha, bitch! Gets what coming to you, motherfucker. Oh no, don't turn towards me! Come on, you test tube freak! Ow! Is there no way for me around? Is it over? That was easy! <laughs> Rebecca! Chris... It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the pro primogenitor virus. The, pro the prototype parasite which we had de delivered from the laboratory in France was administrated, administered to the uh, to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the same specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubation state, the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved, may be a more appropriate word to describe it. The, ob the observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future BW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's fa annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to complete we verify my findings, William Birkin.
What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. double check down here just to make sure I grabbed everything Does he not have anything? Nothing more? Okay. No, don't go yet. Don't go yet. I'm I could feel it, bro. I could feel it. This is the end. We're getting to the end. Just stick with me to the end, please. Please. I promise you no more than like 20 more minutes. Maybe not even that. Deactivating and releasing all locks. That means I could go grab Jill now. We're gonna take Jill with us. We go get out of here. She's only gonna get out of here just to fight the virus. Back in Raccoon. told you we're we're at the very end I hope you're still here cuz we're literally at the end it's about to self-destruct
Oh, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. We gonna save with the excitement. Come on, Jill. Hell yeah, Bob. You know you want to see this end. You know you want to see this end. Three minutes to detonation. The self destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But. Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Three minutes. Three minutes to do what? Oh, fuck. Jill! Don't you dare go and hit Rebecca. Don't you do this, you filthy bastard. No. Rebecca! Holy shit! Chris, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Whoa! Oh! oh my god! Boom, bitch! Boom, bitch! You the man, Chris. I know. I know. Whoa! We beat Resident Evil! Now on to two. And at a later date, come back and beat this in Jill's campaign.
I got the good ending. Yes! Beat it! Woo! Only two parts! <sighs> Good night, man. Thank you for sticking around for the end. Definitely worth it. Ah! Oh. Next is Resident Evil 2! Ah! Oh. That's awesome! This plane is simply awesome. I just, I can't believe, I can't believe it. It was marvelous. Such a good game. Such a good game. <sighs> Chris, you did a fine job. One hundred and thirty six enemies killed. 342 rounds used, 25 ink ribbons, and 13 health items. Chris has a new costume. Closet key. What new costume did I get for Chris? Oh, I can't believe we beat it, guys. Once again. The background changed and everything. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, there's a bunch more different endings. No opening. Huh. Oh, I see. Here we go, go through it on easy. Yeah, I know. I want to see his new costume. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was great though, guys. We beat the damn game. Oh, excited to move on to two. And it's not the original two because you can't get that on PC. And, well, I don't have a PS1 and a capture card to distribute it to stream so you guys could watch me play it on the PS1. So we're going to be playing the remake. And I got that. But it's been a long night. Been an eventful one. A lot of jump scares. A lot of good talking. Bunch of new followers. Thank you all for the follows and the likes and the shares. It means so much to me. And as always, I love you guys. And I will catch you in the next one.